in our previous tutorial uh, we discuss how we can create our team page and how we can dynamic with at home, I mean using uh, custom post type so these are the this is the page where we uh, we built uh, um, with advanced sorry custom post type so here you can see there are three team members right now we are going to create a details page for each of uh, each of these right so how we can create let's let's uh, uh, first of all uh, we need to um, add our anchor tag on the image and the title so, um, so once user click on the image icon or the uh, title they will redirect it to the details page for this team member right where uh, um, entire um, team member details will be displayed right so let's create so this is team page and we are going to create a details page in that case as we know uh, this page uh, is being managed through a custom post type right so here you can see uh, our post type name is a team and we are going to create a single page uh, in wordpress uh, there is a thing that to mention um, for details page for custom post type here you can see uh, this uh, okay our team here you can see this is our uh, custom post type for our team where all the team members are displayed right so and you can see the post type name is team now we need to assign so when you click on um, this it will be re redirected to uh, this particular team member details page so uh, and uh, in that case we will create a single file called single php single dot php actually single dot php is a default um, uh, psv file for uh, on wordpress but we need to assign this custom post type we need to connect this post type right so that uh, it will uh, show only um, for our our team post type so in that case as we know the post type name is team okay so the single php single file should be like this okay we can just uh, in the theme root file uh, just go to the theme uh, here we used a wordpress child theme so here you can see already there are a single dot php file i think you can see this is a default single dot php file for the post as we are using custom post type so we need to create a separate one called something like this create a new file single hyphen post type name so what is our post type name our post type name is uh, team right so um, the php file should be like this single hyphen post type name dot php so single hyphen team dot php this should be the single php file for our custom sorry our team custom post type okay so now okay you can see single team dot single hyphen team dot php file so these are um, this is the page uh, which is being used for uh, our team custom post type right so okay you can see it's a blank some blank right now and now and before we adding the code in the single team.psv file we need to connect we need to add our anchor tag uh, in the uh, image file and the uh, title tag so let's go to the our team.psv file here you can see the entire uh, this is the image okay so here the image is running right so we need to do something like this here you can add our anchor tag href we need to connect the details page okay and here we can close our anchor tag okay now we need to connect our team page i mean team details page that is uh, called parmalink okay so the php function php function should be like this php the parmalink the parmalink that means that uh, that means uh, each of details each of member details page should be connected right now okay and once you click on our team i mean the uh, team member image it will redirect it to the uh, that particular team team member details page 
so we just added on a team member image as well as we will uh, add our uh, permalink on the title so here you can see the title so let's add in the title as well okay same things so that now save the changes and go to your front end the team page and reload this tab so once you reload this tab you can see okay somehow it's not updating let's reload this tab again okay looks like it's updated right now you can see when you hover you can see uh, it's a link automatically to this particular team member details page it's called team slash david george 3 okay it it's called um, team uh, slash david george 2 so once you click on david george you can see it's a blank as because our single dot php file i mean single team dot php it's a blank right now you can see it's a blank right that means our single team dot php file is connected right now okay now we will add a code custom code so first of all we need a banner section like like the about us page okay you need header we need footer and the banner section as this is the common part so how we can do that let's copy uh, this code from about us page so this is our about us template we can easily copy this one just copy and add things and go to your single hyphen team.php file and paste it over there first of all we need to remove the template name as because it's not a template it's a single file single right um, for the detail space so we don't need to add any template syntax over there so this is for the banner area it's fine okay and uh, this is for now we need only the uh, container section okay here you can see this is a container so we'll remove the entire these things okay we don't need that actually i'm just removing okay uh, remove first okay now here you can see okay and also we need one more okay so into this section in this section we will add our team member details how okay so we will divide this uh, team member details we will do something uh, in the left side there should be display the team member image and in the right side there should be the text entire team member text so uh, as we are using a bootstrap so we can easily do that it's a container we can div we can divide two things like this div solidity class call sm4 and deep close and okay and another one should be call sm8 okay so here we will add our content okay and uh, should be display an image right okay i mean the team member image but before adding this code we need to add a custom i mean the custom post query something like this as this would be the default so it should be something like this uh, before the uh, after the header gate header okay uh, where the gate uh, underscore header is closed after that before the php tag you can see we will add this uh, i mean post query default post query called have have posts something like this okay while have post the post okay and now we will close this okay so here you can close here you can close and while okay, and end if that's it now we'll add we'll add an image you can collect the image code from here you can easily image section you can collect this image code from here okay you can see you just collect this image code 
okay we don't need to add this as of now sorry yeah okay we don't need anchor tag as well php close okay here is the image okay okay so so in the call sm4 there should be display in the image and here you can display all the contents in the bio data entire bio so as the entire bio is um, added in the wordpress default editor so it should be something the uh, the function should be like this content the content okay so let's see just save and upload to the server it's uploading you can see and refresh this page details page okay now you can see it's added so you can see as this is the, uh, this is a default i mean so this is from also feature image and we don't need that actually so we need to do, get rid of this off we can use as a default something like this is because we don't need to um, recall a featured image here we will display a static image in the image tag so we don't need that actually just remove okay and we will use a default image any default image like let's see what's what image use in the okay this image we can easily just copy copy and you can paste it over there in the image researching you can change this image as well for the banner actually okay oh it's already there actually so don't need that php don't need that php as we are going to uh, add static image in the banner section okay just refresh so you just save an update to the server uploaded to the server okay it's uploading done go to this refresh reload this tab okay you can see the banner section and team member image and the team member details now we will see uh, we'll, we'll divide the left side and right side so i think something is wrong actually it's a um, bootstrap structure we can easily um, fix no problem we can fix this up okay just go to this okay the container you can add another div called div class should be row okay and after this div you can add another you can close the row div okay let's save this one upload it to the server and reload yeah. now you can see this is the team member name team member image okay and team member bio you can also add a facebook and twitter link as well the same things you just copy from your team okay you can copy same things social icons just copy this div okay you can copy this div just copy and paste it in the single team.php file below the image so here you can see image is displaying heads i mean the headshot just pasted over there I'm just paste it okay you can see paste it in the call sm4 okay save and upload it to the server okay go to the front end reload this tab now you can see uh, your twitter and facebook icon is being appeared you can you can do some uh, you can add some custom css to center these things actually you can okay you can do i think if we add a class called text center it can work something no you can add some display block 
के टेक्सटाइल आयन सेंटर जीरो ऑटो कैन एड मार्जिन लेट ट्वेंटी परसेंट ओके वी कैन मैनेज कस्टम सीज इट्स नॉट अ बिग डील सो नाउ यू कैन सी आवर टीम मेम्बर डिटेल्स बीज बिंग रेडी राइट इट्स रेडी सो लेट्स गो टू द टीम पेज आवर टीम Let's replace this one once. Okay, some odd sketch issue, I think. Yeah, it's some odd sketch issue. I believe it's it's working before, so this is something sketch issue. I believe it's not a big deal. So you can see. Uh, how we can create our team detail team member details page and how we can connect the details page using our single uh, hyphen team.php okay that's it thank you